hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is going to be a totally different video for you guys uh, this is going to be film and TV show journal with me um, something brand new but uh, I have been really enjoying watching a TV shows so looking up some new TV shows movies that I haven't watched some of wanna like rewatch and see what I like uh, reviews and stuff so this is a journal uh, this uh, um, notebook is from Joanne's I purchased it maybe three years ago or something so I have no idea if they have it I did went back to Joanne's to purchase another one that had like similar one except line but they did not have this is the company they did not have like that one and when I purchased this notebook I thought I would be doing some um, daily journaling I like to put it as a diary but I realized that I prefer line instead of a uh, dot grid. So this one is dot. So I was like, I can't really use it. So it was just laying around. It's a beautiful journal. It's big. I do not know what size it is, but it does have, uh, it's like really beautiful. It's really beautiful. It has like stickers over here. So um, what I did is I just put a little bit of it. I wanted to see what I, what I'm gonna be doing so what I wanted to uh, to do is have like a list of all the movies TV shows or something that I have seen or will watch so I want to put like in stars um, these stickers I have no uh, this one is from Green Donner design a shop on Etsy this one is keepsakes by Ashley but I it was like a freebie and this one also freebie this is like um, washi tape from I don't know <laughs> this one is from happy planner uh, the um, stars are from uh, coffee queen designs so what I did also I put it some over here I will just be writing the names of the movies TV shows and then rating them and it's going to be like an overview but also what I want to do is um, have a monthly um, monthly uh, review of what I have seen or watched uh, in August so this is gonna be something like this so I then print out a couple of um, movies tv shows i just went on google got some pictures went on um silhouette or you could also use um word process what word, word process word document and just resize the pictures as i realized that the pictures are kind of larger than i wanted but that's okay that's why you always try something new and the pen that I'll be using is from Paper Envy. Uh, this is a really beautiful pen. It's like rose gold with some glitter. Really nice one. I really like it. It's a regular pen. I think so it's 0.7 because uh, it's kind of thicker. So uh, the first uh, three of the movies are Pitch Perfect. Surprisingly, I did not see the third one. I knew about the second one, but not the third one. So the first one, uh, I really like it. It was a rewatch. I gave it uh, three, me, almost four stars. I liked it, but I feel like the first time when I watched it, I liked it more than I did. But with the second one, but I still really, I do recommend watching it. It's a really good uh, movie. The second one was, um, it was good but i feel like the first one was so much better it was like refreshing and newer but the second one was um i don't know i felt like um it, it didn't have that but also it was really intriguing and really nice i do like the music i really did like this uh, the songs that they chose pitch perfect three i have no idea what it was it was so like out of touch I don't know. It was terrible. I don't know what happened with it. I didn't understand the whole theme of it. It just like there was nothing. There was nothing that I would be like, oh, this is like to watch. If I would like recommend, I would watch the first and the second one. The th third one is like you don't even have to watch. It's like mm, there's no point. So over here I have Modern Family uh, season. 10 and season 11 
I love this TV show. This <laughs> this year is was the first time that I watched Modern Family. I heard about it, but I never watched it. I have no idea what. But then it was on Hulu, and I was like, why not just watch it? I saw a couple of clips on TikTok, and I was really curious about it. I really love Modern Family. Modern Family is 5 out of 5 for all seasons. It was so good. Like, I really enjoy watching it. All 10 seasons, no, there was 11 seasons, were amazing. Like, really great. I would give it a, a 10 out of 10. Um, so, I give all 5 stars for them. Later on, you will notice that I would put the uh, stickers with the stars. At first, I was uh, just uh, writing in the stars with a pen, but I realized I do not know how to draw. I know it. And the stars that I put look really weird. It just, I don't know what it was. So, all the TV shows and movies, some documentaries that I watch were from um not from there for a month of august everything that i watched in a, a month of august so um purple heart uh, came out i think so in june or july i think so it was july or something maybe it was for fourth of july oh it says on the picture it says july 29th so it came out that, um i really like the movie it's i feel like it's a one-time watch um the character is really nice they did um, with uh, they did brought up with a couple of stuff that for example for the girl she didn't have money to afford uh, insulin it, it is a problem and um, um, it is a problem my mom struggled with uh, diabetes so it was really hard you see the price and you're like mm -hmm. yeah so it's kind of so I did like a couple of stuff I did enjoy watching it, it I know it's like People have good and bad reviews. I will say, say, I'm neither. I watched it. I'll be like, there's a movie on Netflix, Purple Heart. Maybe you could watch it. Maybe you should watch it. It's, it's kind of like optional. Um, it's hit and miss. It's something. It's not good, but it's not bad. Um, it depends of, on what kind of stage you're watching it, I guess. So over here, as you could see, I'm putting in stars with a pen, and my stars look like really weird. Like I have no idea what was going on. <laughs> I just do not know how to draw. My sister, she loves to draw, and she's like, D D "Just lines, just put a couple of lines, and you'll be fine." I'm like, "Easy to say." So as you could see, I went with my Pentel fine line pen to make it more stand out, but I realized that. It, it just did not work so i did use the stickers that i show a prior to it on the other page i had some leftovers and i was like why not just use those stars the stickers because they are laid there and i could just um color in the stickers and it'll be fine later on that's what i uh began doing so let's go on uh, the next uh, movie the next TV show that I watched was Nikita. I watched the first season. Uh, it's a rewatch. I love Nikita. The, the first two seasons were so good. The third season, not so much. And I think that they had the fourth season, which I, I did not... I don't even remember what was going on that season. But the first season was amazing. Um, Like, I love it. I love how this woman power, she's like this girl in a dress like you would not think think that she's this uh, amazing fighter person like she's amazing also i love maggie q maggie q she's an amazing actress she's like really good i still remember her I remember her from die hard i was like damn that girl could fight like i really like it and as you could see over here i began putting um uh, the stickers and uh, on this page the last uh, tv show is a ukrainian one it's called super shilastivki it's a second season um i love the second season the tv show talks about um a lot of teen um drama not drama but uh, struggles that people have for example um money 
some uh, talk about for um, their sexuality uh, their hardships uh, parents uh, um, social media how social media influence it's a really good TV show I do like it I believe there is a translation subtitles in English if I will find it I will link it up below but it's a really good one as you could see I give it a five out of five like it's a really good uh, TV show I like the first one the first one also uh, like has a topic of it it's really good so on this page I have Teen Wolf I watched the first and the second season I did like both of them and I do I am watching right now season three which is kind of my favorite season um, I will talk about it more but I do like uh, Teen Wolf um, season one how it's kind of explain it's, it's like a slow start which I do enjoy instead of like you see a couple of um, TV shows a superhero or somebody gets superpowers and they're like they could do whatever now versus over here the main characters the main character struggles with his powers he doesn't know what to do with them he, he learns every single time every single day what he's going through and it's kind of really nice the whole season is like a slow one which enjoyable because he can't be just right away be a superhero and stuff you can't be that you can't have superpowers right away and know what to do with them which kind of uh, kind of always annoyed me because uh a lot of times like the character is like oh i know what to do i was like how do you know you just started a uh, second season also really good i really like it um it's also a rewatch um then i have american monster it's a documentary um, I really it's on Discovery Plus. I really like it. I love criminal <laughs> documentaries. Those are like my favorite They're really relaxing. I know it's a weird thing. They're really relaxing Then another documentary that I watched was untold the girlfriend who didn't exist It's also Netflix. I gave it a two star because um, What I wrote on the side was the story was interesting, but it was very long um, the story was interesting. I did like the whole story, but it felt like it was so dragging. It was so like kind of boring. Um, and documentary to be boring is kind of um, not good because you're watching documentary, you want to know more about it. But I guess for me it was boring. But I did like the story. I, I, I don't know if I recommend watching, watching, but maybe maybe not depends on the, what you like so and then i watch uh, season three of evil lives here also on discovery plus i gave it a four star i love documentaries <laughs> crime documentaries are amazing um i am watching it season by season really amazing stuff and uh, what i wrote was scary how some people seem to be normal but turn out to be sociopaths and I agree with it. Like a uh, couple of stuff you see them like um, old uh, documentaries, old house videos, and you see them like perfectly normal. Well, they're really crazy or something. Like you would not ever believe that this person committed this and this heinous crimes. So it's scary. If you uh, like it like this documentaries, those are really good. Also, the murder tapes. Um, I watched um, season seven. I finished season seven. Uh, I really like it. Um, it. It is scary. One of the um, scenes where, like, um, the couple, the family put a video cameras, and they capture the murder on the video cameras. And uh, you know, there's a lot of um, cameras are lower so police look on it and they could see the crimes or some people see so this is kind of what i like about this season i give it a three and a half stars i want to give it the four star because i do enjoy it on a, a lot of documentaries i do love it because um they're to, uh, some of the documentaries um, are made really really great but some of the com documentaries i feel like they missed the mark and all, all three the american monster evil lives here and murder tapes are really great um with from three of the documentary i will say 
evil lives here is more interesting for me because the family members are talking about um, the person that committed the crime and it's kind of sad because you see how hard it is for the family members to go through this it is hard and i have no idea what they are uh, what they see but uh as a criminal justice major i seen uh, videos i seen documentaries what my professors were showing the real cases my professor who was uh he was a patrol officer then he was uh, IAB person so he showed couple of um cases that he was working the sheet he of course he blurred everything uh down like you wouldn't know who it is and everything it was kind of long time ago so he did show and you see a lot of uh cases and it's really terrible it's it's real life i feel like this is why i do like um evil lives here because of the fact that the victims now victims the perpetrator families are talking about it and it's really really real you wouldn't even think that it's real so over here you would see like i'm writing a couple of things not that much couple of words as i said before i wish uh, i print out the stickers smaller i did use a silhouette it's a for silhouette cutting machine i do not have a cutting machine but uh i do like their um template it's really nice to use because you could see how you could uh, um do smaller or bigger the sheet so this it was kind of easy for me versus the word document it was kind of harder so the paper that i'm using is a sticker paper i did purchases on a website i think it's called online um, i'll link it down below to, for you guys to see if maybe you want it i purchased it because i wanted to uh, um print out some pictures from my graduation and put it in my diary so i was like in my journal so i was like why not just use a pretty paper the paper is really nice i do like it in some parts i am struggling to write what i what i want but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh totally different for me um also thinking about doing maybe um specific spreads for specific uh, tv shows movies so which one i really like the favorites one uh, i will see how it will be but i had so much fun doing this it's uh, i am gonna uh, going to be starting something different for the next year because i want to write more information but well, overall, I did like um, this. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you love watching TV shows or movies. Do you have specific movies, TV shows that you enjoy watching? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye.